What's going on you guys? It is Isaac. Today I got a different type of video. I have a almost 30 days of microdosing experience and the benefits and negatives of it. I started it around the 6th of this month. It is now the 30, 31st or the 30th I think when this video comes out. I have microdosed a good 10 or so times so far. So I can't say I've done it 30 times in 30 days, but I don't think you're supposed to do it 30 days in a row anyway. So this is how I did it. So when I was doing it, I would do it two days on, one day off, three days on, one days off. And I would also occasionally smoke on a microdose. So excluding that smoking part, let's go into the effects now. 90% of the effects are mental. There is no visual effects really. It is all mental and those mental effects to me personally are cl thinking clearer, having deeper thoughts, deeper thinking, uh, being more realistic and honest with yourself, just like looking at things from a kind of somewhat different perspective. You have more energy, deeper thinking, just in the slightest bit you're thinking more rationally and more emotionally towards people and toward yourself and you do have a lot more energy for about a six hour period of time that's how long i'd say my microdose would last more of the positives is more motivation say if you take a microdose not on the first day i wouldn't suggest this but you take a microdose and you go to work you're gonna work a little harder you're gonna have more energy more motivation but it's still gonna be the same boring routine if you don't really like work it's still gonna be like working it's still it's not gonna make it like fun or better but it will be more motivating you'll be more energetic and also when you go on walks and such, nature does look more beautiful. Things look more vibrant. You're enjoying nature more. You feel more connected with nature. You have less of, what's the word? Uh, you take it for granted, which you don't really do as much when you microdose. You, you realize how this stuff shouldn't be taken for granted. Nature, being outside, enjoying the outdoors, enjoying being with friends the energy you get, the motivation, just stuff like that. So to sum up the positives very shortly, better motivation, better energy, more rational but also irrational thinking, more emotional thinking toward people and yourself. And yeah, that's about the positives. So let's get into the negatives. So here are the negatives for me personally. Now, there might be a series more of negatives and positives depending on the person you are so if you have more positives leave them down in the comments below so let's get straight into the negatives and if you guys have any more negatives that you experience let me know now one of the number one negatives for most people is anxiety from microdosing which i really didn't have personally but i did have it when i smoked cannabis alongside the microdose now if i just took like a hit i would be fine um, some people could say this takes away from the microdosing experience, so I would try not to smoke, especially the first few times you take a microdose. So I didn't like the first few times, but there was a time where I did have a negative slash amazing experience while microdosing. So this wasn't technically a microdose. This is the last of the shrooms I had. I took like 0.4, so that's not like a microdose, but it isn't like a dose dose. And then about three hours later, I took two bone ribs. And I expected the shrimps, okay, they're fully kicked in. This is the experience I'm having, which was stronger than a microdose, but it wasn't like too strong to the point where I was anxious or uncomfortable. So I took two bong rips and it just went like, boom. It's like the feeling when you're taking an edible, how if you take a super strong edible, it can be somewhat psychedelic feeling. Now, none of the psychedelic feeling I had was visual. It was all mental. It was this sense of, at first, it was just absolute bliss, an amazing feeling, just like, wow. I've never experienced such a, well, I have, but not in a long time. I've never experienced in such a long time this, ex like, this powerful or this potent of a high. It was crazy. And then it leaned more toward the bad side for me. I started getting anxious because I was thinking about stuff I was going that was going on in my life that I needed to overcome and cope with. So it was anxiety, but it stemmed from something I should be worried and anxious about uh, in the sense that I need to better myself. So the anxiety I was feeling during that period of time was good anxiety because I was trying to cope, figure out things about myself, and come to 
a conclusion of how to better myself, etc. So the anxiety I had was rooted in a good reasoning for having anxiety. It wasn't just like, oh my god, I'm so fucked up. I, I, I'm freaking out. It was more so like, oh my god, this is an issue I have with myself. I need to confront it and figure out why this happens, figure out how to get over it. Now, the fact that I went through that doesn't mean I sorted any of those issues out I had with myself. I did have a deeper thinking and realization with myself, but I didn't really quote unquote fix anything about myself. Maybe that would take a higher dose, more and more micro doses. I wouldn't say micro doses make you have the biggest realizations about yourself. If you want to do that, have a proper dosage, but only at your own risk. Don't go for microdosing to pop in a whole tab or three grams of mushrooms. That's not a good idea. And then the only other uh, negative I have would be you're about to eat and then you take a microdose. You're not going to be feeling that hunger anymore. You're not going to be like nauseated by food. You're not going to be like opposed to eating food. You're just going to eat and you're not going to be hungry at all. You're just going to be like, oh, I'm kind of forcing myself to eat. So if you're about a microdose, I would suggest to eat your food first and then microdose. And yeah, um, that's my suggestion to you. The only negative suppresses appetites and can increase anxiety, but sometimes that anxiety it increases is a anxiety that you do want because it makes you, you have anxiety, uh, not for everybody, but for me, it was about my own personal reasons that I need to get through. It was like realistic anxiety, it wasn't just random anxiety that came from nothing, it was anxiety that was buried deep down that was kind of forced out of me and forced out into the open and forced for me to confront which sounds scary, but people do need that. And um, I would say that this microdosing experience has been very beneficial. It hasn't been life changing and it doesn't quote unquote fix any of your issues. It's not like you're gonna microdose go like, oh, that's wrong with me, I need to fix it and this is how. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna be a lifesaver. It's not gonna be a huge life changing event where you microdose. It's gonna improve your energy, improve your work, improve your social skills, improve, no. It's just a little boost. It's a little bump. It's a little boost of energy, a little boost of better thinking, a little boost of more rational thinking, a little boost of problem solving, etc. It's not going to be life changing. It's not going to be anything uh, that's a quote unquote miracle. At least for me, I've heard a lot of people say it helps them with their depression, anxiety, and I can see where it helps. But it's not going to solve any of those issues that you have. It's just a little boost. So that's my experience with microdosing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other experiences or any other positives or negatives that I missed out, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Peace.